Welcome back, everybody, to the Birdies and Bourbon Show. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, please, hey, thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the followers. Uh, don't forget, click below. We appreciate your support. Tonight, we're going to be sipping on Yamato Japanese whiskey. Mm. You may know why. Um, what a great tournament. Guess what? Kala Marikawa, he did not. He did not miss that putt today. Justin Thomas absolutely put himself in a spot that he couldn't capitalize. Uh, I, 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 Dan, I mean, weren't you watching the tournament thinking like, hey, how many time, how many playoff holes are we going to have today? Yeah, I was. Uh, I was, for number one, I was stoked that we were going to have playoff holes. I thought it was a shoe in for uh, for Justin Thomas coming out of uh, 17. I thought he was just going to go ahead and par it out and just we were going to be on our way and JT wins the tournament. You know, I actually thought JT was going to run away with it, you know, starting the day. He was up, what, three strokes to start the day? Yeah. Exactly. It was a repeat of last week with Mo with Wolf, and we saw a guy that was up like three shots. He fumbled in the beginning, and here he is, and he recovered in the second half. And is it going to be enough? Well, Bryson wasn't paying, playing this week, that kind of thing. But but no, I thought I thought JT had this thing in the bag from the start, uh, as what, as good as he's been playing this week. But then I all, I just thought on eighteen he was going to close it out. And it was going to be great. And he was going to show all these little kids, hey, this is how it's done. I've been around the tour long enough. I'm not going to choke here and uh, close this thing out. But that's not what happened. Uh, so first off, I, let, me, let me go ahead and get this out of the way. I know you want to also. Mm. So, so I'm watching. So the tea times got bumped up this morning, and, and I've seen some headlines about this thing. But uh, so the tea times got bumped up, and we started it like uh, I don't know, like seven this morning, yeah, uh, you know, seven ish, like you know, with the first tea time. Yep. I think they were scheduled to go off at nine, so we got a two hour advance on this thing, right? And uh, so, so we play through and it, I don't know, give or take two ish in the afternoon. Um, and I think they're on hole 17. They played through 17 and CBS shuts off. Um, they, they shut it off completely. We had a little drive by there. Did you see that? <laughs> it's a uh, Col Colin Maracaba's ghost. Um, so, so they shut it off. They shut off CBS Sports, and it says coverage is, con is concluded. And I'm like going, well, okay, well, wait a minute. All right, so it's concluded. Maybe they flipped over to, uh, you know, it, it's on, uh, on, a, on, the CB on CBS, right, yeah. on, on, the, on, on the channel. Yeah. So I flip over there. Well, they've restarted it from the morning. Mm. Now, granted, we, I, mean, we've got a, I mean, we've got some serious friggin' golf going on here, and they flip it off. And you can't get on CBS Gold that you have to pay for. You have to pay for it, and they shut that off. NBC Gold, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Yeah, sorry, NBC Gold. Yeah. So they shut that off, and it, it's like, oh, hold on, I'm having to start over from, the, from this morning. And I'm like, I know they're, uh, they're on 17. I know. And, I, and I'm like going, how is this possible? So you and I were texting, yeah. and, and I'm like going, where's it at? You're like, oh, will you, will you download the app? Mm -hmm. So download the app. Okay, that's fine. And, and I get on there. And the frigging commercials, <laughs> and, and then all these pauses. And all they've been <laughs> talking about is micing up and all the coverage and how, how much better, how much easier it is for them. Because And, dude, do you think that there's two people on the golf course? Do you think the cameraman is not behind them the whole frigging way? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. The, the whole way. Why are you cutting? And then not only do you shut the commercials off, then you go to a pause of – uh, of of uh, we'll be back with you in a minute. Yeah, and you're sitting there, and and I get it. I get the point that it's only a couple of minutes, but I think that's the bigger part. It's like you want to talk about slow play. Hey, quit slow playing us, commentators. <laughs> quit slow playing us on the. I mean, it's it was ridiculous. Well, first off, is it any coincidence that the workday open? got moved to a 7 a.m. tea time because Phil's trying to sell coffee for wellness. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's out there with his, um, with his tumbler. He's out there with his tumbler. <laughs> it is not a coincidence that it, 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 it is. Uh, so let's say the PGA tour is definitely proclaimed. I, I did message, uh, I did message the nature boy last week asking him to get on the show, even though I know he's a wrestler, you know, and, and a personality, but I'm like, Hey, if we're going to get this thing scripted, let's get the nature boy on and let's go full, full, full bore. Yeah. The app thing is, um, 
it's it's tough, right? I mean, part of me says, and that they did not sign off saying go to here. I don't think I saw anything on even the Golf Channel saying where it was. I think you had to go on like uh, on PGA, PGA Tour dot com, and it kind of told you it was on the app and all that kind of thing. But I, I guess maybe they wanted you to they wanted you to watch this afternoon. I, that's the only thing I can get out of it is they wanted you to have eyes on it on on you know the you know, the big the big broadcast on on CBS. I guess, but but very very conflicting there. And I thought that was crappy. I mean, yeah. especially if you're someone that pays for the gold package, yeah, and and you're on there, and then you just cut it, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I, know. I, I, I don't get it, man. It, it makes no sense to me. Yeah. And so, all right. So enough of that. Yep. Let's, let's get back to, let's get back to the positive. Yep. Um, so, so you and I, uh, what did we record on Friday night? Mm-hmm. And, and I said, you know, we picked, uh, you know, and my lineup was shit, by the way, <laughs> all, all of them, <laughs> but the one I posted was still crap. I think I had three people, <laughs> three people that missed the cut, at least three people. I know. Uh, so, uh, we'll get into that in a second, but, so uh, you know, we said, who's going who's gonna to win after, after the cut line? Who's going to win? You picked uh, Matsuyama. I did. Yep. I picked JT. I was so sweating it. I had, I had the tape <laughs> on the package this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was I going to get, by the way? Oh, yeah, I can't tell you that. I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, that's coming up next week. Yeah. So, but, but I'm like going, and, and I'm telling you, man, I mean, JT had, I mean, he, he was hammered down all the way through this thing. I mean, that dude was playing so good. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I don't really, you know, I mean, he, he didn't hit, he hit, uh, what was he, less than, just shy of 300 in his distance for the week. Yeah. Uh, just over 50% greens and regulations. Driving accuracy was uh, 64%. Strokes gain putting uh, was one. I bet he wishes his playoff round strokes game putting were. But I mean, the dude made a killer putt on the first playoff hole. I don't know. It was like 40, 45 feet. I don't know what. But I mean, that dude smoked it. There was no chance he was going to make that. No. And he smoked that thing. There was no chance. I thought it was. Yeah, and then he was uh, he was like kneeling or you know squatting over in the corner. It looked like he was almost crying, like he knew he was gonna win. And then Colin comes out and just like crushes his putt. I had I thought there was I no know. chance he was gonna make his putt. It was such good golf. I said, like, "Wow, th- these guys are like, game on, game on. Here we go, yeah, here game, we go." Yeah. Yeah, so if you had any questions about Colin Marikawa coming back from uh, the Charles Schwab uh, yeah. Charles Schwab match. Uh, you know, because he lost. He, I mean, he missed. Uh, you know, he lipped out, and it, I don't know. That was like an eight or ten footer. I mean, nothing compared to what he made today. Now, the last putt that he made. I mean, he nailed that uh, that shot coming the you know, the approach shot. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, no. Hey, because I'm thinking the whole time. I'm like, man, if he if he loses in a playoff this time and it's over putting, is that gonna like is it gonna get in this dude's mind? And is he ever gonna be able to come back? And uh, today, <laughs> hey polished man i mean that dude he 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 solidified where he's going to be in golf what's, what's so sad is that like you said with the colonial first events first event back from the coronavirus break and he is getting ready to close this thing out and he fumbles it and then here he is now in this weekend where you know i wasn't sure how it was going to happen you know and and if it didn't go for him this time what does that do to his confidence considering what he's yeah. because he was up like he was crushing the field on friday night we thought oh my god this guy's running away with this thing um but yeah, then, but you and I, but you and yeah. I both better get you, Friday when we when we uh, recorded. You and I both said, I mean, we I picked JT, you picked Matsuyama. I mean, we neither of us thought he was going to be able to hold off. And once again, though, once again, he it, so he actually did win the tournament this okay. time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think he won it in the sense of JT faltered uh it, on, on the on the last two holes yeah. i mean jt actually put him in a position to be able to win the tournament if jt just plays average golf average golf jt wins and there's no playoff i mean jt put colin in a position to win the tournament J- jt hits upon that tree on the third playoff hole. like jack do we need a freaking tree here do we really need a tree here <laughs> come on <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, hey, hey tell, you, tell you what, uh, go go ahead and hit three wood and miss hard right. You know, so, there, there you go. So. Yeah, exactly. So interestingly enough, we talked about this on Friday. This new class of players of Morikawa, Hovland, and Wolf. I mean, oh my gosh, they have been the talk of the tour besides Bryson since we've come back. 
since we've come back, right? So uh, at Colonial, it was all Morikawa. And then last week, you had Wolf back to Morikawa. Hovland's been out there. I think my prediction, number one, we're going to do a, we're going to do a breakout session on this this week, but I think Hovland's going to break the curse of the Puerto Rico Open. Oh, soon, do you? Soon. Yes, I do. I think he'll be soon. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, what a, what a great, uh, what a great match for Morikawa. It's his second win on tour. He's so, what is he, 23? Yeah. So, so Morikawa, if he doesn't, uh, if his putter is on, like it was on this week, uh, he, he's got two more wins under his belt. Yeah. Um, so, but, but, I mean, to think today he lost a stroke putting. Yeah. Uh, he was better, uh, better than JT greens and regulations, better in driving accuracy. Uh, he was 10 yards, give or take shorter in distance. Uh, didn't, I, I don't think that played into factor, but, uh, but he lost a stroke putting. If that guy gets his putter tuned up, uh, you know, he's absolutely winning uh, the Schwab and yeah. uh, he's he's not in the playoff with JT. I mean, he he he, you know, I mean, J- that dude was playing so strong on Thursday and Friday. I mean, yeah. there's no way there's no way that anybody should have came close to him. But yeah, it, it just the putter got to him. And uh, but today, I mean, does today give him the confidence that he needs to now? gain strokes putting i don't know i hope so i hope so so what happened to jt um you know talk about a guy that's been on tour for a while um i think he has how many wins does he have 13 12 13 wins already is that right they were talking uh, about that. justin thomas yeah um they were talking about oh, it was going to be like three years in a row or something. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm way off on that. Nah, maybe I'm way off on that. I don't know. But anyway, what happened to him early? Cause there's a guy that's been on tour for a while and came out and he was faltered like Wolf did last week. I did. I was not expecting that. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I you know, I, I picked him in a couple lineups. I wasn't expecting a win from him this week. Uh, you know, I mean, I thought he'd play well, uh, but you know, I, I don't know a grind. Uh, well, actually, uh, okay, I, I'm 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 trying to be courteous and uh, and politically correct. What happened to him? I mean, did you see Ricky Fowler standing out there the whole damn time? I mean, hey, the the, the, the whole broadcast gets shut off. Ricky Fowler, he's out there. He's like, we're going YouTube live and Instagram live, and uh, <laughs> he, he's like out there recording, and he's got like a, he's got his. Um, uh, he had a rum and diet Coke in his hand over there, swelling it around on the sidelines. I'm like going, Ricky, leave the guy alone and let him play, man. Leave him alone. Well, there's cameras around, and he couldn't go home. <laughs> oh, so what you're saying is this was like a commercial shoot for Ricky. Well, he Seminole was closed to him because he couldn't, go, couldn't get back to Florida because <laughs> they're playing in Muirfield Village again next week. So he's like, I can't go home. I might as well root for my boy. You know, that's what was going on. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to test. Uh, I'm definitely going to test positive, and it's going to cut some of my. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, hold on. So uh, Thomas JT, he's got twelve uh, yeah. PGA okay. Tour wins. Yeah, I was right. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was right yeah. on that. Good, good. Thanks for pulling that up. Yeah. yeah. So if he faltered well, early, I, I, just, I was. I just yeah. want to let you know you're right. You're not right <laughs> for often. Once, for once, it's right. That's right. Yeah, I was. I was a little concerned with the falter, and then we saw him turning on the back nine. And um, anyway, yeah. I mean, hey, great tournament. Um, I think Morikawa is probably going to be insanely pricey come uh, you know on Tuesday when we're all starting to pick our lineups for next week. Uh, I'm staring clear. Getting, getting I'm, into I'm getting into that. There. Getting into that. Let me ask you this. Uh, I'm I'm okay with moving away with the, away from those two guys if you are. Oh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, so are you picking John Rahm or Patrick Cantlay next week? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so I mean, guess who shot the low round of the day today? My gosh. John Rahm, man. I mean, that dude lit it up, boy. Uh, I'm, I'm going John Rahm, man. And it I wasn't mean, even that, in the putting. It wasn't even in the putting. He had like, he had like no. less than half a shot or so putting. I mean, come on. I mean, he, he didn't care. He, uh, he hit 83% of greens and regulations, uh, 78% uh, he, of fairways. And uh, he didn't lose any strokes putting. I mean, how can you argue with that? Yeah. I mean, what a round! I hope his price went. I hope his price went down. That way, I can afford to get Deshambo because after he whipped Bryson's ass, 
uh, on ti- on the on privacy. He's coming out and he's gonna he's gonna follow up with back to back wins. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see uh, any of John Rahm's round today. Did you? I didn't see him on TV. Mm-hmm. I saw him a little this morning. You did. You know, he actually looked. Yeah, you know what he he looked like. Huh. He looked like the opposite of DJ. Um, so <laughs> er, earlier in the week, earlier in the week when we were talking, though, I mean, you were talking about how you know how uh, how Maddie looked. He's like, is he going to break the putter? Or is he going to break his hand? You know, or, yeah. or the or the the, yeah. uh, the the iron, right? Yeah. Because you could see the frustration. So something wasn't jiving. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the dude was like, uh, I mean, he he got it tuned in. Did he and, have? Did he, he have all the all? Was he hitting driver and three wood and everything, or did he break all the other clubs in his bag and just hit a seven iron <laughs> the entire time? <laughs> uh, it, it, it was seven, seven iron and putter, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he went. He went from fourteen to two. Uh, but no, but I, I mean, seriously, like the, I mean, he got everything kind of honed in today, and, yeah, and I mean, all in all, yeah. I mean, he went 72, 70, 75 yesterday, and he shot a sixty four today, low round of the day, and maybe the low round of the tournament i think it could be a tie yep uh i have to take a look and see but i think it was a low round of the tournament and and i, I think that bodes well for next week man yeah yeah and i, I, I wasn't kidding in, in terms of are you picking john rom or patrick Candelay? because Candelay was actually going for the course record at one point he was going to no, shoot a 61 yeah well he well he didn't he didn't no he didn't but but he was on pace so he could have shot a 61 at one point it's like it's like what i think that's what they yeah, said he, the course record was yeah, yeah he shot six he shot 65 today yeah. so uh what you know he, he yeah I, I don't know so he, he double bogeyed uh oh no i'm sorry uh he birdied he eagled uh so he starts out par birdie 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 eagle and then bogey, and then uh, I mean, dude, he had a good round though. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. discounting the guy. I mean, he, I mean, he had a great round, and, and seven under clearly. Yeah, I mean, so I may uh, I may recant on that, and he may be in my lineup next week. But uh, a lot a lot of surprises this week, though, man. I, I, I mean, so many people. I'll tell you who surprised. But if you want to move on, I mean, so many people surprised me. Um, I'll tell you, your boy Sabatini. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where, where the hell did he come from? <sighs> Came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Was, yeah. Because did he, he? I don't think he missed the cut last week, but he just played crappy over the weekend, didn't he? I don't. I don't remember. He might have missed. Uh, it. Uh, he was in your lineup, but I know you're bitching about it the whole time. Yeah, so, I, but, uh, but, yeah. but, yeah. I mean, he he didn't score well, right? I no. mean, as far as from a point standpoint, but I mean, today, man, when when he jarred that uh, that birdie on, I think hole number four, uh, after he had a drop. I mean, that, he was like on fire after that. And, I mean, that the, hey, and once again, the announcers. It's like, hey, can you, hey, can you pipe down if you can't play the whole match? If you can't, if you can't give us the whole match, then I need the announcers to pipe down a little bit because they are so on my nerves, man. <laughs> like we need the fan. I, I don't want the fans back because I want golf to continue and I don't want anything to get sideways. Yeah. But uh, without the fans, the, the announcers, and I don't know why the network is not listening because I don't know that – I haven't seen anybody say the network, that the announcers are doing a fantastic job. And uh, all I've seen is everybody saying the announcers suck and need to, sh- and they don't suck. That's a bad, that, that's a bad way to frame it. But they need to pipe down just a little bit and just ease off on it and let the golfers play. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So uh, a guy that I thought was going to have a good round today, but ended up not uh, not doing much. He was one under. Was Hovland, man? I mean, he's here. He is. This was his like uh, fifth week in a row. I think next week's going to be six weeks in a row for him. And he's just man. apparently he's rented a car and he's just driving from course to course and just, he's going to keep playing. So, do, what do you think about Hovland? I thought, I mean, wow, I mean, well, that many weeks I, in a I, row. Gosh, I, I had him in my I had him in my lineup. And and he went 69, 67, 66, and then 71. So uh, at one under par still. But, uh, you know, he, he just, uh, for whatever reason, I feel like he just can't get it. Um, he just can't close. And uh, maybe maybe it's the maybe it's the curse of Puerto Rico, man. Yeah, he's, I don't, he's doing well. I don't know. I mean, he had th- top three or he was three today. I mean, he's been in the top 10 yeah, like, I mean, every week. I mean, he shot 15 under, so yeah. I mean, I, you can't argue that. But you know, but I, I, I don't know. There, there's something missing there that he just can't uh, capitalize on, 
And I mean, again, hey, man, if you're uh, what he you, was third place. Uh, so I mean, if you can be in the top five every week, I mean, it, I mean, is there is there a uh, well, that's good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so let's touch on. Uh, hold on. Go so, ahead. Let, 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 yeah. Let, let, let me get Hideki Matsuyama. Um, <laughs> It's like damn it, Hideki. Like I saw, I saw a glimmer of hope last week. I think, and and then he shoots um, sixty seven on Thursday, mm. sixty eight on Friday, seventy two on Saturday, and seventy three on Sunday. And I'm just like, going, what's happening with Hideki? That this one scares me because you know th- just that. Um, uh, you know, the uptick in the way he's playing, it, it's kind of like, eh, I don't know, you know, what's happening there. I mean, it, and most of what I saw today was putting. Yeah. And it, yeah, he, he lost he lost two strokes putting. Yeah. So, um, you know, I don't know if he gets it tuned in, but I mean, next week they're going to be playing faster. Yep. Uh, yep. The rough is going to be thicker. So it's definitely going to be more challenging next week. So I'm like, Come on. well, OK, so basically what you're telling me is uh, we're, he's going to be in a worse position next week then he's going to be in this week. Yeah. Even if he hits the ball better, it's still going to be worse. So I mean, that, that kind of scares me. So I'm kind of like, eh, yeah. I, 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 I don't know where he's at. I don't know what's happening. I, um, I got no confidence so, in him right now. Um, I like yeah. the way the irons looked. I like the way he was uh, striking the ball. But um, very inconsistent right now to where you can't, you can't really count on him being, you know, and what we, what we talk about with these guys is, you know, they're all going to have really good days and they're all going to roll it really well. And it really comes to is, can the guys stop a really bad day and make it just okay? And he hasn't been, he has not been able to show that. He's not shown the consistency. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about Brooks. I want to talk about Brooks because we did not, we, like, when we ended on Friday, <laughs> we thought Brooks was heading to Florida next week, but he's not. He is playing next week. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to talk about Brooks. Where do you want me to start at? Uh, uh, talk, he, about, he, talk about he, the flakiness of what he's doing he, with his schedule. Let's see. So, so he's already messaged Tiger. And, uh, that, well, and, and I, didn't, I didn't get this first. This is secondhand. Uh, but I heard that he already messaged Tiger. And he's like, hey, can your, can your boat make it up the Ohio River? And uh, can I stay with you? Because I've got to be as far away from Bryson as I can because he's going to whip my ass. <laughs> and, hey, and this mustache ain't going to cover up that ooh, black eye. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, man. Hey, listen, I, I'm, I'm better. Yet, so I saw you put out a um, – you, you put a poll out there. Yeah. And you didn't – I didn't see Tiger Woods in the poll because we didn't yet. know he was – yeah, getting committed. Yeah, so now he's committed. Yeah, so we're th- th- so I'm I'm looking for a revised poll. Okay, um, Bryson, Kepka, yeah, and Tiger. Yep, and that's that. I mean, Tiger's the one you vote on. There you and go. We don't need anybody else. We don't yeah. need anybody. No, yeah. no. We want that because Tiger's either going to be a referee or a bodyguard. <laughs> and uh, and and Bryson said he's bringing two seven irons, one for each of them. hey listen he is gonna slow play the i know i I know i'm I'm on a bryson tangent i'm sorry but he is gonna slow play the hell out of bryson i'm i'm betting i I haven't seen if there's a bet yet but i'm putting money on bryson misses the cut two weeks in a row two weeks in a row two weeks in a row brooks brooks Brooks, Brooks, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Brooks, Brooks, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Brooks Ooh. misses a cut two weeks in a row. Because Bryson is if if he's paired with if he's paired with DeChambeau, <laughs> if Kepka is paired with DeChambeau, he will lose his shit, man. There is no doubt in my mind. Cause do you know how long he's got like and and so so I was thinking I was playing uh when I was playing yesterday, I, I was kind of thinking about some things that uh, that we want to talk about. And, and it's a, and I think it's an interesting topic, not to belabor it. But so do you think it messes? So if Bryson does decide to slow play the hell out of Brooks, and, and I think that he probably does, right? Yeah. Just intentionally. Yeah. I mean, I mean, t- Tiger Woods is, is, I mean, he's famously known for trying to intimidate, not trying. I mean, he intimidated players. Yeah. Like if they said, oh, you're paired with Tiger Woods today. I mean, people are already shaking yeah. in their, they, yeah. they, they were freaking shaking. Yeah. So if, if it's announced that you've got DeChambeau and Kepka together, does it does it mess Kepka up more 
or does it mess DeChambeau up more that he's slow playing the hell out of him? Because I think he's going to intentionally slow play him just to, just to dick with him, man, just out of his comments. I think if they pair them together, number one, they have to, they have to do that. And then number two, I think, I think DeChambeau to your point has the edge in that he knows the slow play pisses off Brooks. He knows he can outdrive Brooks. So, here I am. I'm going to play this up like a pitcher and a batter. I'm just going to I'm going to play this game. I'm going to play this game. I'm going to slow it down. You're going to have to wait to hit your ball absolutely all day long. This is a strategy move. This is game theory. This is what this is. And Brooks the sci- uh, Bryce and the scientist is going to play that game. Absolutely. He's going to play slow. He's going to outdrive him. It's going to it's going to get into Brooks's head so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Miscut. Miscut. So you so you so you don't think it messes with DeChambeau? On uh, on intentionally no. doing it no. because I don't think I don't think he intentionally does it. I think he does it because that's his strategy and that's the way he moves through the round of golf. Yeah, I think this week he is doing it intentionally. I feel bad for whoever's playing with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Tiger. Woods. That's what I'm saying. Is he a referee or is he a bodyguard? It's going to be Tiger Brooks, or Rory, probably. Yeah, but it, well, I mean. Yeah, they're they're like get out of the way, kid. Get yeah. out of the. I mean, yeah. if it's Rory, they're like they don't give a shit. And Brooks, whoever it is, wait and see. Brooks is going to be sucked up to whoever is playing with them, and he's going to be attached at the hip like it's a friggin' nipple, <laughs> and he's going to be nursing it the whole way because he is going to be so livid. Well, whoever it is, I mean, Tiger might say, "I don't want any part of this WWE match. <laughs> Just get hey. me out of here." <laughs> So, so that's the other side, right? I mean, does it become a point that where people are like, uh, "Hey, man, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, I'm committed, and I'm showing up." But if you put me in the middle of this soap opera, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested because, yeah. I, like, I, I don't think Tiger would be. And and you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I'm I'm blowing this way out of proportion. No, and, the, the, and the Twitter maybe, war is out there. The Twitter war has <laughs> already started. They've already done that. So who else is who else is like popular on social? That. Uh, you know, not Max Homa. Pat Reed. <laughs> hey, by the way, Pat Reed, thanks for the follow on Twitter, buddy. We appreciate it. Uh, no, but I mean, seriously, like, there's no, uh, I mean, the only thing you could do is so you could put uh, Pat Reed, Reed, Reed with him. Yeah. You could put Pat Reed with him, and Pat Reed's going to be like, uh, hey, 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 Bryson, slow play the hell out of him. Fuck yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> he's exactly. like the whole way through. Yeah. He's like, yeah, screw that guy. Just <laughs> slow play him. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but but so, yeah. So I, I've got Kepka missing uh, two cuts in a row, man. So it's going to be so much fun to watch if they pair those guys together. And they have to. Thursday and Friday are going to be so much fun to watch. And then when Kepka misses the cut, we got Tiger to watch over the weekend. So there we go. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, uh, well, hold on. I, I don't want to get too far. I know we may be running a little long, so, uh, but I, I want to talk about, um, <laughs> Hey, I know your boy, your, Hey, I, I know Tay's going to love this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and so, hey, but, but in all seriousness, uh, you know, Hey, Fowler, uh, actually kind of put things together this weekend. Not today. Uh, and, <laughs> well, okay. Well, sorry. So he he, he put the uh, he he put the 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 uh, the middle rounds together. So he shot crappy. Uh, shot it well. He shot even par on uh, Thursday, sixty nine. Saturday he shot a sixty six, and today he did he did struggle a little bit. But he's not the only 73 one. Seventy three today, right? Seventy three. Yeah, 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 yeah. One over. Yeah, one over. Sorry. Um, so there, there was a lot of, uh, but a lot of people struggled today. I mean, I, I saw some glimpses of Ricky, uh, maybe it's because JT was doing so well and they were like, Oh, it's party time. Or, you know, we're going out on the boat tonight. T- Tiger's already here. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, it's going to get, Hey, uh, like Kalamar Kawa says it was crazy. <laughs> uh, but no, I, you know, I mean, I saw some things out of Fowler that was decent. Uh, once again, though, um, so driving accuracy was great. Greens and regulation over 50%. I mean, obviously he'd want that to be better, but he almost lost two strokes putting. Uh, which happened to a lot of people, man. I mean, that's what happened to JT. Hey, quit watching JT. Quit watching Fowler on the practice green. He's losing more <laughs> strokes putting than you are, dude. Come on, get away from him. And um, do not use those irons. Do not use the new irons. He lost almost three shots on approach today. 
Yeah, I mean, it's like, what? I, I don't know. So, but again, you know, T22. So I got Ricky for some, uh, I mean, he'll be in next week. I, I ain't giving him a top 10, but uh, he'll, he'll make the cut. And move I've forward, told you so. my theory on this, and it's it's not one, and I'm not here to make friends, right? So we're here to tell what our honest opinions are. Ricky's going to be fighting the fight of his life to stay in the top 30 this year. These new guys oh, are coming. Yeah, these new guys are coming in, and they are really, really good. I don't see Ricky winning a major. I don't see it. You know what? The storyline of of Ricky winning a major to me is tiresome because it's like you know what he's get to a point where there's all we talk about now is Hovland, Morikawa, uh, Wolf, Bryson DeChambeau, Kepka. We don't talk about Ricky Fowler winning a major. Why? Because he's not in the top ten in terms of the best players in the world. He's gonna be fighting his ass off to stay in the top thirty. Yeah, hey, hey, Ricky, Ricky, check your mail. You just got a new contract from Puma, and uh, it's actually Matt Wolf's old contract. So don't pay, <laughs> don't pay your attorney uh, to go. Hey, don't pay the real Jack Palmer to go through the contract. Just tell him to talk to Matt Wolf's uh, agent, and he already knows the details. You better just sign it because Matt Wolf's taking your shit, and I have no idea why. Why aren't they? Why aren't they giving that stuff to? Colin Morikawa. Why wasn't Colin Morikawa at the uh, at the, at, at the, the COVID yeah. challenge, Taylor yeah. May challenge? Yeah. yeah, I mean, what, why wasn't he like what? What's happening here, man? I mean, I don't know. You know, I, 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 it's a miss for me. I mean, Ricky's in his what early thirties? Yeah, he's like 31, 32. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're, he's yeah. never going to be Tiger Woods, and uh, you know, they, it's this big, like he's. It, he's on a downhill slide, man. So and now, granted, uh, I'm sure his bankroll looks really good, but uh, enjoy what you got, bud. Yeah, it's going to be tough for him to stay in the top 30. Somebody, it's going to be tough, it. bud. Yeah. It's really tough. Yeah. These new guys come in and are pushing everybody down in terms of who was in those spots, you know, because they're really, really good. Really good. Speaking of old guys, uh, mm-hmm. you had him in your lineup, uh, mm-hmm. Ian Poulter, man. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, he said not only – can he hit a drive down the middle? He can rip one of the best farts on tour. <laughs> hit T5 <laughs> today, right? Hit T5. I know. Yeah. I mean, I, I like him. Hey, I, if he's uh, if he doesn't go up too much, if he's reasonable, man, I like that dude next week, man. I do too. What, uh, he had a good showing. I, I mean, he didn't – I mean, everything was, uh, you know, it, it, it upper uh, – and. I had him in my lineup. I had Streelman in my lineup. He did T7. He didn't turn it on today. He lost almost like three, two and a half shots putting today. But I had Streelman in there. Norlander was uh, was T31. He had, um, yeah. Enough. Yeah. For the price. Yeah, for enough. the price. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell uh, you who yeah. got really disappointed. It was Kuchar could not get anything going this tournament, man. He couldn't get it going. So, yeah. I don't think he's going to get anything going next week either. You know, I, I do think that, you know, we haven't talked about this, but I, I think that some of this, like this, the weirdness of the way things are, and I'm sure if you're there, uh, but, but it's kind of like us showing up to play around a golf, you know? I mean, think about the protocol prior to COVID and you're showing up and everything, and it's a routine, and, and golfers are very – I mean, it's it's it, it's a method, mm-hmm. and there's a routine, and 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 there you know you're walking through. Now they show up to the golf course, and it's like shit. Okay, well I'm here. Okay, well, it's like yeah, you can do pretty much do whatever you want because there's nobody else here. Right. And and I think it's screwing with some of these, um, uh, you know, the the guys that are mature that have been on tour. I think it's messing with them. Look at the guys that are playing really well. The guys, it, and you just mentioned it. It's all the it's all the younger guys, yeah, that are just coming on two or three years in. But I mean, think about it. They're used to playing in a collegiate or amateur, you know, mm-hmm. and and there's really not there's nobody there. I mean, there's people there, yeah, but there's not a lot of people there. It's not like you're showing up and there's you know two hundred thousand fans, you know, following you around and all this noise and mm-hmm. racket that you've adjusted to. And now you've got the people that are kind of taking over. Now, granted, they're playing good golf, but I'm just thinking, you know, if you if you've got a routine and you show up, and you know, now, well, my routine is, well, I have to do this, I have to yeah. do that. But you know, think about Tiger. I mean, he has to go this way and that way, and he's got yeah. security and all this stuff. And it's like, well, here's your security guy. You really don't have to avoid anybody. So uh, we'll just go this way. And he's like, well, I don't want to go that way. I want to get, you know. So how's that going to be next week with Tiger? So he's he's obviously going to be in one of those featured groups on you know Thursday and Friday. There's not going to be any fans Alleg- there. There's not going to be any fans. Alleg- allegedly, allegedly, it's um, it's Bryson, <laughs> Kepka, and then Tiger. And Tiger is going to be uh, – he's like the nurse. He's like the midwife. 
<laughs> with a group. But Tiger <laughs> usually brings the roars, right? I mean, he the crowds just go crazy for him. How's that going to be um, with him and one of those featured groups without the roars, man? Well, it's going to look like um, it's going to look like the, uh, the the match too. I mean, I don't, it's, I don't know if you, match. I don't know if you saw today the um, Cantlay was like eight under par. And he just hit, he's like hit a birdie and would go eight under par through like, I don't know, it's like 11 holes, something like that. Or maybe it was 12. I forget what it was. But he just looked at the caddy and went, eh, because there's no fans yeah, around, nothing. And guy's like eight under par for the day. He's going for the course record. He's like, eh, there's nobody here. Nobody's watching. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but so, but that's the other thing, though, is think about these guys. And it's like, the, I mean, it's, you know, we see a shot that they hit and it's like, oh, my God, that was the best shot ever. Yeah. I mean, but these, I mean, were they, were they set up to hit a shot? I mean, generally speaking, I mean, if it's a good lie and, you know, it's something in their wheelhouse and there's not a tree in front of them, JT, I mean, they're expecting to hit the best shot that they could at that time. So I don't think it's a big deal to them. I think it's, I mean, they're performers. Yeah. First off, they're athletes. Secondly, they're there to entertain. And I, I think that that's the mess. But I, again, I think that that's where you've got, I think you've got two two fields. I think you've got the younger guys yeah. that are like, uh, nobody's been watching me anyway, so I don't care. I'm just trying to play good golf. Yeah. And you've got the, the more senior guys on tour that are like, I've entertained enough anyway, and I'm just trying to hit a good shot. I think who it hurts the most are the people like the Ricky Fowlers, the yeah. Matt Coochers. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I don't even know why Matt Wolf is that popular. I don't either. Other than other, other than Ricky Fowler, like rubber stamped him and said, uh, Could be. "Well, let, let, let me tell you why." Because TaylorMade said, uh, "Hey, guess what? Uh, we need to find a replacement for Ricky Fowler immediately." <laughs> and this guy also went. He he's also a cowboy, so maybe we can just like it. it just ease. Give this me in. a top twenty-five guy because Ricky's not staying in that category in the next five yeah, years right hey let's well, talk about some the map going to make it either i know let's talk about some panic alarms uh sounding mm. off here i got a couple um number one the hottest player going into the break is one of the coldest players coming out sunjay dude plus five today <laughs> plus three for the tournament on the irons he was on the approach he was um he gave up like almost 2.8 shots off the tee, another 1.7. Tee to green, he gave up almost close to five shots today. I mean, what is going on with this guy? I, I don't know. Oh, no, that's not, it wasn't uh, him, but it was close enough. It was four shots. But still, the point is, yeah, it's like, what is going on? Yeah, we got 72, 70, 71, 77 over the, over the four days. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's weird. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, but it's something screwed up. I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't see him today. I mean, they didn't show him at all. Yeah. Clearly, you know why. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, yeah, the guy was I, the hottest guy in golf going into the break, and we're getting, we I haven't know. seen anything coming out of this. It's really weird. Another guy that I had in my, one of my lineups uh, this week uh, had a good Thursday and Friday, and then just the weekend fell apart was Louis. Louis shot three over par today, mm. plus four for the tournament. On um, the approach, yeah. he lost two shots. On putting, he lost 1.6, but everything else is kind of flat. Tita Green, he lost two and a half. I mean, this guy, I mean, I, I took a bet on him because he hadn't played much, and he's a stable guy, And but nah, man, he had well, a I mean, rough if couple you're, days. If you're, if, if you're watching him on, on Thursday, I mean, it's like going, shit, this is a good pick, and yeah. then, you know, you got Friday, he's like, he's only two under, so it's like, well, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. And, you, you know, you go, uh, what was he, uh, seven over on Saturday? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. When I was looking at the lineups, I was looking at his price, and, um, you know, I know a lot about Louie and from the past, and and he usually is pretty stable and makes cuts, and then just fell apart, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, well, here you go. So he made the cut, but, man, did he uh, <laughs> did he take a dump? Cameron Champ. I know. Yeah. So he, he may, it may, may be the Corona hangover here. We got 70, 72, 75, and 78. Yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't seen any test results yet, but that could be another positive. <laughs> uh, trying to find Armor uh, because I picked Armor and he missed the cut. Uh, and that dude has been just lights out. And, and and you're probably talking about people that actually made the cut. It doesn't but, matter to uh, me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's somebody that, I mean, so he shot 72, 72. So just even par and, you know, just kind of, uh, but he didn't, I mean, but that dude's been playing so solid yep. throughout. Uh, yeah. it, I don't think he's missed a cut yet. And, you know, and, and then he misses one. Cause, you know, again, I was going for, I need six people on the board. 
Yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he didn't do it for me. So that one, yeah, was definitely a disappointment. And here's a disappointment for you. Do you know who finished absolutely last in this tournament? Uh, uh, Matt Avery? Mm, Chase Kepka. <laughs> Plus 17. <laughs> well... So, so maybe is he going to be on the bag next week <laughs> for Brooksy? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not two, making he's fun got of the guy. Guards. That's, 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 I'm not hey, making two, fun of the guy at all. I'm just saying like, he did two, finish two, plus two, body, two body guards. Two yeah. body guards. Man, it's rough, huh? Joel, hey, hey, don't feel bad because my guy that I picked, I picked him. My line was Joel right behind Damon. him. Oh, Joel Damon. Damon. I know. I picked Joel Damon too, oh. and that dude just was. I mean, I swear, hit like his scorecard looks like. Well, I mean, the the first two days look like uh, what I my scorecard yeah. looks like seventy nine, eighty one. Well, all right, forget the seventy nine, but more than eighty one. But I mean, I can only imagine Saturday would be worse. So, Here's one what of my you pricier get? guys. One of my pricier guys. Plus ten. Oh, Ryan Palmer. No, plus Ryan ten. Palmer. Justin Rose. Justin Rose oh, was yeah. expensive this week, man. Yeah. Uh, so hangover. My my, uh, my panic alarm for my uh, my future lineups do not pick Justin Rose, Joel Damon, uh, Louis, Chase uh, or Cam Champ. Uh, none of those guys. You know, I just I gotta avoid those guys for a little while, man. Whew, gosh, no more Bubba. Can't do Bubba for a while. It's just he Bubba. Did. He he's missed. Is this three cuts in a row that I he's think missed? So. I think so. Yeah. So anyway, all right. So hey, like he needs to get back home to the family. I, well, he's got that RV. They're staying in that RV. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it's way overcrowded. Yeah. It's awkward in the RV. Um, so uh, overall, what are your thoughts on the tournament? Let's just wrap this up, and uh, we'll come back to these guys. Uh, we'll tell them. We'll tell well, them about the schedule. I, so, so this replaced the uh, the John Deere Classic, I think, yeah. uh, in, in Virginia. Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, I I'm glad to have golf on, man. I yeah. mean, I I I, I can't. Uh, I, I can't say enough. Keep the fans away. I didn't see a, uh, a, a formal announcement yet, but I heard they were going to announce formally, like no fans for the rest of the year. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I hope that that's the case. Yeah. Uh, that is on Twitter or something. I forget, but it wasn't formal. That was an informal. So don't uh, you know? D- 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 look for yourselves. Um, I thought it was great. I didn't have to watch Brooks at all. I didn't have to watch Bubba at all. And uh, I mean, what more can a man ask for? I mean, yeah. I got to uh, I, I got to drink, you know, sip on some booze. Uh, Colin, thank you. I got to break out uh, the Yamato Japanese whiskey tonight. You're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have a Yamato uh, milkshake pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So look, I, looking forward to next week, and uh, hey, looking forward to uh, most importantly, I shouldn't say most importantly. Uh, so forget about uh, I'm uh, di- not Tiger specifically, but I'm most looking forward to Tiger Woods being paired with Bryson DeChambeau and Brooks Kepka, and to watch uh, the main event, the title match. Go! To the, hey, it's not a major, but we've got a major pairing coming up next week. I've got a feeling we do. We do. I'm so looking forward to it. I thought this tournament was great. Um, what a great ending of the playoff and everything. Morikawa finally getting another win after Colonial. That was tough. I do think Workday will be the next mainstay in terms of a tournament, in ter- you know, from a sponsor perspective. Obviously, they won the first ones they called for this, and they're like, hey, yeah, man, we're in. We are so in. So whenever somebody else drops out, you know, Workday is going to be the next one, Phil. We'll certainly uh, pioneer for that for them. Uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Memorial. It's going to be faster. It's going to be rougher. And uh, we got a bigger field. I can't wait. So this week, guys, we're taping this on Sunday night. We will be, we will be back to you tomorrow with uh, some... <clears throat> Some more uh, DraftKings stuff. I think we want to talk some more Tigers, some more Brooks, uh, Bryson, everything else. We're going to come to you again tomorrow. And then uh, we got some other fun stuff planned for this week, Cal. Who we got? Can we get any guests this week? Oh, yeah. oh do we? We got the Salty Golfer <laughs> coming on on Tuesday. And I'm excited about that, man. We're talking about uh, – uh, hopefully I haven't dropped it already, but uh, we, we've got a Monday tea time, uh, not this Monday, but I'm on vacation the following week. So yeah. we got a Monday tea time and uh, we'll hash out uh, all the other tea times uh, on the pod next week. And uh, we'll get some uh, get some tidbits from the salty golfer. Looking forward to it. All right. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, man. Hey, Colin. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. All right.